G'day there, Nick Bowditch here. Uh, today I would like to talk about esteem um, and you know how we esteem ourselves, how we get our self-esteem. We hear a lot about um, people with no self-esteem or people who feel like they have no self-esteem or we feel like they have no self-esteem and if only they did, they would be so much better off and, and all that sort of stuff. And I think while that's great and worth kind of aspiring to, I think it's also worth looking inward at ourselves, at myself, you know, that I'm, I'm all about that rather than looking at somebody else's shit, like how about we deal with our own. And also, and then once we do that, thinking about what esteems us, how we might get more esteem, how we can esteem from within, right? So I, I'm all about with my clients as well as me, I'm all about, you know, trying to find a place where I take my esteem from myself. I draw my esteem from within rather than from without, you know, rather than from, rather than from uh, getting it from someone else, getting it from something else, um, be that artificial or material or human or whatever it might be, or drugs or alcohol or whatever, um, and trying to find the things in myself which I really love and looking for more of that stuff, right? So that brings difficulties with some people and with me um, at different times because it becomes difficult to esteem within from within when you can't feel really like you're killing it or like you're doing really well or you, you know, whatever it, it might be. So I've got kind of four things that I talk to my clients a lot about and talk to myself as my main client. Um, a lot about how to do this better, how to draw esteem from within better. Number one is trying to understand that I have value in the first place, right? That I have inherent value and worth, regardless of fuck ups and mistakes I've made and people I've hurt and terrible things I've done and all that stuff, regardless of that stuff, my human value, my human worth is exactly the same as everybody else's. It's exactly the same as the day I was born. I talk a lot about, you know, a baby born in Syria today has exactly the same human value and human worth as a baby born in the eastern suburbs of Sydney today, right? They have the same value, the same inherent human value, and that will never, ever, ever change, okay? It's just their environments will change and their education changes and their opportunities change and whatever, but their value never changes. And I think that's the first thing we have to, first of all, understand that we have inherent human value, human worth that will never, ever change, that will never, ever leave us. Sometimes we can feel like we don't have that, and that makes it very difficult, obviously, to esteem from within if we don't feel that in the first place. Number two is, I think we need to, I think I need to, remove toxicity from my life. Now, be that drugs, alcohol, gambling, food, whatever, whatever. Uh, be it material toxicity, you know, the, uh, having to have the nice car, having to have the nice house, having to have the best shit, whatever it might be. Um, and it sometimes it might be people, it might be human toxicity I have to remove from my life. I'm slowly doing that and doing it pretty ruthlessly in some quarters, but, um, you know, it's helping. The, the less toxicity I have in my life, the more I am able to esteem from within because I know that I've created the environment in which I can grow and develop um, as opposed to staying in an environment where I'm kept down, where I'm put, where that lid's put on me and, and whatever. So number two, remove toxicity from my life. Number three, in my daily journaling, one of the things I write every day, so I have a little pro forma thing, and if you'd like that, um, just hit me up and I'll, and I'll send it to you. It's no, no big deal. Um, but every day I write in the journal morning and night and the morning one, one of the things I write as part of that pro forma thing every morning is I am you know, something that underline, <laughs> that was me underlying for a space that I might say I am strong, I am resilient, I am worried, I am scared, I am weak, I am tired, whatever it might be. And that, that practice of doing that every day makes me consciously think about how I feel about myself in that moment 
right? So not, not with any of the sort of past history stuff, not with any of the future anxiety stuff. In that moment, I am whatever. And that actually helps me draw some esteem from within too in the long run because the more I write something about myself every day, the more likely I am to write something positive about myself every day. And when I do that and believe it and can reinforce that to myself, it absolutely works. It absolutely helps me. And then number four is just expressing and accepting gratitude. I, I get a lot of esteem from other people. I, tr I try to get a lot of esteem from other people, sometimes not in a healthy way. But when I do something for somebody else without any kind of altruistic, you know, any kind of motivation to get something back, um, I can see that somebody is grateful for that help. That makes me grateful for being able to provide that help. That's one example. But if I can do that often enough, if I can be grateful for the things that I have around me, eventually, again, I'm going to start thinking that way about myself and the stuff that's in me, the stuff that I'm controlling, the stuff that I'm in charge of, right? So if I'm, if I'm more grateful for things and if I write them down again in my journal, um, when you write things down, you are when you write things down that you are grateful for, you are more grateful for them. That's that's science backs that. Like neuroplasticity um, backs that, changing that neural pathways in your brain to be more grateful. And when you have more things to be grateful for, you have more things that you could potentially esteem from within from. Right. So again, just the four things that I run through very quickly with myself as well as with my clients. Um, number one, understand that I have inherent human value and worth and that has never changed from the day I was born. Number two, I try to remove as much toxicity from my life as I can. Be that material things, be that substances, be that artificial things, be that people. Number three, I regularly write I am something, how I'm feeling about myself that day, how I, you know, sometimes it's not great, um, sometimes it's really great, um, but that practice makes me more self-aware, makes me more mindful, um, makes me more in tune with how I feel that in that moment. And then the fourth thing is expressing and accepting gratitude as much as I can, wherever I can, um, and being grateful for as much as I can and for as many people as I can in my life. Um, now that I've removed or am removing toxicity pretty ruthlessly from my life, people, toxic people especially, um, it just opens so much space up more for so much good more that I can draw esteem from within. Hopefully that helps you. If you, um, if you have any comments, I'd love to hear them, you know, comment below or, or wherever you're seeing this. Um, if you have anything you'd like to share with me and you don't want to share with the rest of the world, then please hit me up directly um, for some coaching or, or, or just some help, just some chit chat. Um, I'm, I'm well up for that. So I hope you have a great day wherever you are and uh, try to esteem from within as much as you can. We all have that human value. We all have that inherent human worth. Um, that hasn't changed since we were born, regardless of mistakes we've made or people we've attached ourselves to or, or anything else. We are valuable, wonderful human beings. Have a good day. See ya.